Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's video, we are going to be checking out this awesome Nissan GTR, a really cool car. It's been a little while since I've made one, and a lot of people wanted to see this one. Uh, so in this video, we are going to be looking at this car. Now, I am also going to throw a little bit of a time lapse in the video, so I am going to build a garage, as well as modify this car so that we can actually drop an engine inside of it. It's going to be really cool, it's going to be a lot of fun. Fun, and we are gonna get there very soon. Uh, so before I do get on with this video, I want a little bit of feedback from you guys. I did get some complaints about my webcam and my voice not synchronizing properly, so let me know down in the comments, guys. I did buy a new camera, and I want to get your feedback on is it better or is it worse? Uh, I'm not too sure, uh, so I'm looking forward to hearing back, and I really do hope it is better. Uh, so without further ado, guys, let's check out this car and get some building done. Alright, so this car is using the Bling Polygon Mod Pack, as well as the Polygon Mod Pack, and the Durf Mod Pack, so these are some good mods that you should definitely check out. Uh, and, I mean, I try and limit them to as few mods as possible. Uh, so here you go, you can see this is the side profile view, uh, which is something that I am so happy with. I really do think this car turned out really well. Now, of course, I always get the criticism down in the comments, and I'm sure a lot of people have something to say about this one, but I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so here is the rear end of the car with a really cool spoiler up there, as well as some exhaust. That's right, actually, it is using the exhaust tube mod pack as well. Alright, so then here we go. This is the lightened side profile here with the sun. So you can see you got some door handle there. Now the door doesn't actually open. Uh, this is really cool. It's got some pinstriping along the bottom here, which is all painted black. And this is neat, actually. This is the front of the car. It says GTR there. I'm really happy with the lights as well, and just the general shape of this car. I'm, I'm gonna say, it's probably the best one I've ever made. Uh, so up on the hood here, you can see we have some really cool kind of air vents right there, and even trimming up across the top here to get that kind of uh, black interior. And then over here, this is just a nice close-up of the spoiler here. You can see it is using the surface mod, so uh, definitely a very useful thing when you're designing cars. So we can just easily hop into the seat like this, and as you can see, there are no buttons or switches. It's kept relatively simple. It is really just made for driving. Uh, but of course, it does handle very well. Uh, it is a little bit bigger than what I have been trying to accomplish with cars, but overall, it is one fancy looking car. I gotta say, I, w I had so much fun making this one, and it drives like a dream, and it looks even better. Uh, so. Beyond that, it's relatively simple, it's more of a looks kind of thing, but I do want to make this a more interactive build and something that is a little bit more fun. So guys, we are going to be getting into a time lapse where I'm going to build a garage, as well as a mechanism and an engine to drop into it. We're going to modify the car as well to take the engine. It is going to be really cool. Uh, so I'm going to get into the time lapse, guys, and I am going to be seeing you very soon.
Alright guys, so I have the GTR here with the hood that can now pop open and as you can see over here I very quickly just kind of threw together a garage uh, with like an engine picking up mechanism So how about we drive ourselves into this garage here very carefully now? All right, don't want to scratch the paint job All right, let's, let's center this up a little bit better. Here we go. Alright, so let's do a quick little tour of this garage here. Obviously, there's not really much to it. I just kind of made it for this one thing, actually. So you can see this is like, kind of like a waiting room. The front counter here. And, of course, this is the actual garage. And over here, we have our little engine picker upper. Uh, so we can get a quick look at the actual engine here. So I did go online and try to find the Nissan GTR engine. Uh, so I think I did a pretty good job using what I got here. Some simple parts. Uh, but it definitely looks really cool, and I have no idea if it's going to fit in here. And I just realized, actually, I am missing something very important. Alright, so the thing I forgot to add was actually put a bearing right here and make it so that I could turn the entire engine. Uh, so I guess the only thing that's really left to do, guys, is test this all out. So let's get our inventory up here. So let's see. Uh, I'll show you guys what this all does right here. So... We have the left button, which rotates the entire arm, the right button there, which brings it back to the center point. We have the one key, which raises the entire thing up, and the three key, which lowers the entire thing down so we can actually grab the engine, which I think we might not need that much of an extension, if any at all. And then we have the three key, which closes the pincers down over there, and we can open them back up. So, let's raise the arm up so we have room to actually drop the engine right here, so... I have some lines painted there so that you can actually get it relatively centered. Alright, so the engine is in place. Now, let's see what happens when we lower this down. Okay, let's, uh, let's see, I wonder, okay, actually, yeah, let's, uh, put it down, rotate it to the left a little bit. Now, I can see we're only gonna need to extend that by one, so let's just do that and press the one key, it puts that down, three. Alright, so let's see, did it pinch on properly? I think it did. You know what, I'm actually gonna grab my hammer here. Uh, maybe we can just kind of make sure it's in there. Okay, you know what, I really don't think that's going anywhere. Alright, perfect. So, I guess the only thing left to do now is test the hood of the GTR. So let's crack that open. I guess it's gonna glitch out for me. There we go. Alright, so I don't know if this is gonna reach or not. So I guess the only thing left to do is try it out here. So let's... Raise the whole thing up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't even think this is going to be ro rised up enough, actually. Is it? All right, hold on here. I need to increase all of this. So, nope, that's the wrong way. Maybe if I go 15 and 15? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, there we go. That is plenty of height now. Okay, so now we can... Rotate the entire thing. I'm gonna open up my field of view actually guys. This is this is crazy. All right, there we go Now we can actually see so let's rotate that towards the car There we go now obviously I do need to drive this up underneath it a little bit better All right, there we go right about here. Maybe Let's see. How does that look that looks pretty good actually now. I actually it's gonna drop down so um, I might be completely wrong here all right, so we need to rotate the entire thing. There we go. And how is it now? Okay, so it's not very centered. It is very straight, though. So let's just kind of back it up. This is not how it really works in real life, by the way, guys. Okay, so we're gonna just pull it up right about 
here. Actually, let's just put it right up against that and hop on out. Okay, let's see. This is the moment of truth. Drop it down. Okay, there we go. And <laughs> maybe open up the arm. Rise it all up. Oh, almost snagged the engine. And I think we are good to go. So let's just spin that out of the way. And get our hammer out because this engine is going to have to be installed, obviously. So let's just pretend we are now installing this engine. Is it going to fit? I thought I might have made it fit. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. This is actually probably pretty good. Come on now. Get in. No. Oh, I just hammered it out. Okay, let's try that one more time. All right, everything's in place. Let's try this one more time, guys. I really want to see this work, actually. Oh, whoa. Calm down there. All right, let's get that. Actually, we have to get this in position, which is right about there. Open up. Oh, no, we need to rotate that like this. And I guess we'll have to bring this all up. Rotate it to the right just a little bit more. Drop it back down. Rotate it left. There we go. Okay, drop the arm. Pinch onto the motor like so. And raise the whole thing up. Perfect. We have the engine again. Now we'll spin it over top of the car again like this. And spin the whole thing. Perfect. All right, so we can actually turn it back just a little bit maybe. Hmm. All right, that's looking pretty good right there. Let's drop the whole thing down. Open up the arms. Is it going in? Okay. We might be able to grab... Oh, uh-oh. Can I just pull away? There we go. Oh, look, I think it worked. Oh, man, this is awesome. Okay, let's get the crane arm out of the way. Let's drop it back down again, and let's check it out. You know what? I think that's as good as it's going to get right there, guys. We have just dropped an engine into this GTR. That is pretty sweet. I mean, it's off to the side a little bit, but, you know, it's all about weight balance and stuff, right? It's supposed to be there. So we can actually hop in there, drop that down. Oh, of course it doesn't fit. You know, that actually kind of makes me think of a potential mod that we could do. You know what, let's just kind of, let's play around with this a little bit here and try out something different. So let's actually grab those. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna check to see where this would center. So actually, I forgot. I need to remove the hook part. There we go, okay, that's what it was. So. I put the hook on it specifically for the crane, and then obviously once you get the engine in, you would dismantle the hook mechanism, and there we go, guys. There is now an engine inside of this GTR. Uh, kind of weird, yes indeed, but I like having some weird, crazy fun and scrap mechanic. So there you have it, guys. It is the Nissan GTR with a ragtag workshop that we dropped a motor into it. It looks really cool. You can see now we can pop the hood open, and there it is on the inside. We now have an engine, which is kind of free-floating, but that is okay. So guys, if you did enjoy this build, or if you enjoyed the video, then make sure you hit that like button. It'll let me know you're ready for more Endless Scrap Mechanic. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed for Endless Scrap Mechanic, then what are you waiting for? You might as well do that, maybe even turn on notifications. And you can get the latest and the craziest Scrap Mechanic coming from me. So, of course, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic. And I will be seeing you in the next one. So, bye for now.